Burton. Uh, she recently joined Nova Science as an industry technology specialist. She's assured me that she does not need me to read her extensive credentials, uh, so I'm going to honor that. But uh, they are extensive. Um, she is a tar heel and holds degrees in agriculture and automotive diesel technology. And that combination, I think, is rare. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what that combination um, has done for Rachel and her knowledge and experience. So please join me in welcoming Rachel to the podium. Thank you, Jim. Although I won't be talking too much about diesel or agriculture, but I will be talking about training. And the title of my talk is called Next Generation Training for Ethanol Plants. So this may not be exactly what you're thinking about when you think about next generation training. But we're going to talk a little bit about uh, how you and your plant can be prepared for when the next generation of workers and operators are coming to your plant. But before we talk about the next generation, let's talk a little bit about this generation. Some of you may be familiar with some of these graphics here. They came from Tim's Ethanol Producer Magazine and their latest issue on the ethanol industry workforce. And one of the things that we noticed in this ethanol industry workforce report is some of the key demographics of our industry. So in terms of education level, almost 40% of our industry does not have a four-year degree. We do have some very educated folks, but not all of them have, been, uh, have a four-year college degree. In terms of age range, we have a very broad age range, you know, from, from 30 to 55 and 60, which gives us kind of a good, strong, basis around uh, career levels, but it does mean that different people may be at different places in their career. And then if you look at the years that people have worked in the industry, most of the people that are in the industry have been here for a long time. What happens when they retire or leave? In addition to key demographics, when you're thinking about implementing a training program or trying to train your team, You've got to consider learning styles. How do you learn best, and how does that differ from maybe how your team learns best? Are they best in a visual capacity? Are they more verbal learners? Or is it really a hands-on experience that speaks to your team? Are they logical learners, social learners, do they prefer to learn on their, on their own, maybe in an online capacity? Or is the best way to teach your team in a classroom setting? One of those things is like, you bring all these demographics plus all these learning styles, you combine that, and then you think, what about all of this information that is coming to our, our team on a daily basis? We're completely bombarded and inundated. How do, they, how do we balance all the data points and the process parameters? How do I, how do I craft a good training, training platform with all of this information? And then you look at, well, I've got all this information. How do I build a training platform? And how much is that really going to cost? There's a group called the uh, Association for Talent Development. They look at training costs on an annual basis, many like in our industry. And they found that back in 2013, most industrial workplaces spent about $1,200 per employee on an annual basis. And that $1,200 kind of equated to about 30 hours per employee on an annual basis. And most of those training programs were in a classroom or instructor-led scenario. So think about how much do you personally, or your competitors, how much does your team spend on training or onboarding your employees? What happens when your team or you skip out on training? 
What are you missing out on? And how does the lack of a well-trained team impact your plant's profitability? We know that well-trained operations do contribute to profitability. So let's imagine if uh, Homer Simpson was one of your operators. We know that he's probably not the most well-trained guy. What if he's in charge of dirt for matters? Do you think he really cares about residual glucose? That could equate to maybe about $3,500 $3, per fermenter. In fact, Homer Simpson was probably the guy still trying to eat all of his uh, donuts in the break room. <laughs> That's the only residual glucose he cares about. <laughs> what about overall yield and process? If you have somebody who's not completely well trained, they could be leaving a significant amount of yield on the table, which could, be have, could have a pretty significant impact on your balance sheet and your P&L. We know that the benefits of a well-trained team provide more efficient operations, motivated and sat satisfied employees, flexibility of the workforce, and opportunity for strong knowledge exchange. But how do you get there? How do you craft that training program? So I'm going to give you a small snapshot of an experience from Novazon's own enzyme production facility. <clears throat> Many of you might know that we run uh, two enzyme production facilities here in North America. One of them is based in Franklinton, North Carolina. That's in a central part of North Carolina. It's in a rural area where income and education levels are generally below state, state averages. And we're in a, in a very competitive biotechnology production operator space. So there are about 20,000 biomanufacturing jobs in the Research Triangle Park, and we have to really compete for strong operators. Not too long ago, we didn't have quite a structured or, or coordinated training program. And we didn't have as good feedback on employee performance. And because of that, we didn't have good, strong employee development. And over a, a span of maybe about five years, we saw a loss in our own uh, operators as well as process engineers. And we worked to change that significantly. And the first start was instituting a plan. That plan started at hiring, and then we began to map um, our skills of our employees, both on a personal skills level and a technical skills. This is kind of a schematic of how we kind of developed our training and certification program for our own operators. That operator training and development plan moved from just competency skills mapping to an actual certification program in which we would tie you know, performance basis to promotions and hiring. In addition to the certification program, we also implemented blended learning solutions. We gave our employees options in which they can learn online and in classroom settings. So we know from our own experience that having a plan can make an impact on engagement, retention, and team building. Now as I saw you know, we built basically a very structured training team, and we saw improvement on morale and turnover. And our employees, they gained a stronger <clears throat> career path and had a better feedback culture overall. So let's talk a little bit more about the next generation and how we're going to engage them. So we had a program a few years ago that we've uh, rolled out to many of our customers. It's an online training program on enzymes and ethanol production. And we've taken that program and we've asked our customers, what is it that you like and what do you need in the future? And here's some of the feedback we have. They really like to have the training modules online. It gives operators very easy access. A lot of them, have, a lot of them have a big training need but having and finding the time to implement that training can be challenging. 
And many folks would like to have some kind of stepwise program. It's great to have an introductory or an onboard program, but what about continued learning for, for people that have been in the industry for a long time? So that's why at Nevisox we're introducing a new knowledge and training portal that we call Bioenergy University. This is training content, the training content that you need, and it's accessible at any time, anywhere, on any mobile device. So whether it's on a desktop, an iPad, a tablet, a phone, and, it's, and we're basically launching that this summer for our customers. Here's a little bit of uh, an insight into Bioenergy University. We have three tiered learning tracks. We have a basic beginner track, we have an advanced track, and we have an expert level track. After each course, whether it's the beginner track, the advanced, or the expert, operators and learners can receive a certificate. It's interactive and quizzing function that's built into the tool. And so after each course and track, you receive a certificate. And each employee can actually download their own transcript and, and actually track their learning progress. We also can use Bioenergy University to connect our online training to our custom instructor-led hands-on training programs that we provide for our customers. So customers can go onto the catalog and see which training programs are available and actually try to and, and go on and enroll in some of those courses through Bioenergy University. We've built a library of both videos and webinars and a number of different resources for our customers. And then our newest application that's part of Bioenergy University is our foray into gamification. Some of you may not be familiar with what, with what gamification is, but it's a way, in, a way to utilize games to teach and train people. And so we've kind of investigated gamification, and our new tool is called Ethanol Challenge. Maybe some of you had a chance to play it at our booth, but we have combined a way to create a game around biochemistry so that science can be fun, engaging, and memorable experience. So if you haven't had a chance to come play the game, you just stop by the booth, because we have some pretty interesting characters out there. We have Alfie, the alpha amylase, Glucador, the glucose amylase, and they have a number of enzyme buddies that help them throughout the whole ethanol production process. But you have to watch out, because there are some nasty characters out there, too. You've got dough balls, and then bacteria, I'm making your head there, Tim, fusels, and acids. So we have three different levels um, that you can play the game, and it goes through a number of seasonal challenges. This game is uh, built on a platform that can be used on Android devices as well as Apple devices. So if you haven't had a chance to, to come by the, uh, the booth, please do so and check out Ethanol Challenge. And if you're interested in the Bioenergy University platform, we can also speak to you then. We think that Bioenergy University is really a training platform for all learners and all learning styles. And we think that Bioenergy University is a training platform that is truly going to fuel your business. Thank you. We definitely like uh, product launches, product announcements, and the activities, so thanks for uh, making that a part of your MPW schedule.